we are making this correction to the incident I reported at Boya Central Prison, particularly on the name of the senior administrator who has been put there by Paul Bia to intensify the occupation of the land of the people of Southern Cameroon. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Ambazonians, welcome once more to this fresh dose of update from this end. I did inform you on my previous outing on an incident. Some five Southern Cameroonians who were abducted and thrown into the Boya concentrated dead camp. You can call it the Boya Central Prison. They were that happened on the 8th of September 2024. This particular incident took place under the watch of Okala Bilai, the watch of uh, Ayok Bernard Agbo. Yes, I said Ayok Bernard Agbo was the superintendent at that particular concentrated death camp in Boya. He is not the one. The position of Ayok Bernard Agbo when he got an appointment as a director of the school which is in charge of training those particular administrators, prison administrators, you can call them whatever name you want. So Ayok Bernard Agbo is the director of ENAP, ENAP, E-N-A-P, which is the school that is used to train those colonial prison administrators who are actually in southern Cameroon to intensify occupation, to torture our people, to continue to maim them, to continue to ensure that innocent people are kept behind bars without any due process civilians tried in military courts yes ayo bernard agbo was once a superintendent yes i think i got that information a little bit of mixed up while i was doing my presentation i think it's worthwhile for me to come out and make this correction it is very clear this particular man definitely you know the name ayo bernard agbo he comes from manu this is one of those so-called Manu elites, people who go around supporting La Republic du Cameroon's 63 years plus occupation of the land of the people of Southern Cameroon. Yes, Ayo Bernard Agbo is not the superintendent of at Boya Central Prison or the Boya Concentrated Dead Camp. Ayo Bernard Agbo is the director of that school called Enap in Boya. He is the director. And he was, before coming to that position as a director of that school, he was a superintendent in the, the concentrated dead camp in Bameda. This information should go into record. These are the people who continue to enable the occupation of the land of the people of South Cameroon. Oh, yes, Ayol Bernard Agbo is one of those people who gets his you know, instructions from hierarchy. Who is the hierarchy? The hierarchy is the colonial master. Ayo Bernard Agbo is just a privileged slave. One of those privileged slaves, one of those Anglo fools. People who will tell Southern Cameroonia, who will tell Ambazonia, say on a carga on a go down. Yes, you you should you should say these things because you are benefiting from the system. This is one of those people who are actually the so-called elites, those so-called CPDM barons, people who will walk on dead bodies and get into their ability. Ayo Bernard Agbo cannot settle in Mamfe, he cannot settle in Manu. Why? Because he knows very well that when Ambazonian soldiers they pick him up, he's going to answer for his crime. One day, now one day. 99 days for all of you, one day for Ambazonia. I'm coming out to make this correction. Yes, and it is not changing the fact that what is happening 
at the Boya Central uh, Concentrated Death Camp, where five of our Southern Cameroonians they were taken out, they were smuggled, or they were lured in so called release. They were being fooled, they were deceived that they were being released, and they were taken out of prison till death. Nobody knows their whereabouts. Nobody knows their whereabouts. This is another uh, intensified message. I am telling you, watching me right now, that please share this information. It should reach the apostolic norms you. This information about these five Southern Cameroonians who were taken out from their prison cells at the Boya concentrated death camp should go as far as possible. Let this message be shared right to every angle. Send this message to Amnesty International. Send this message to Human Rights Watch. Send this message as well to the U.S. Embassy in Yaoundé. We know that people who are definitely being caught or being arrested or whatsoever I want to call it during combat, they are not, you know, they are not killed, you understand? But La Republic of Cameroon respects no law on earth. They respect no law on earth except the law which says that they should occupy the territory of Southern Cameroon. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Ambassadors, this is a message I am giving out there saying that five Ambazonians, five Southern Cameroonians who were illegally arrested, who were abducted, kidnapped by La Republic of Cameroon, some from Munya, some from Boyoka, some from Kumba, some from Boyata, for so maybe allegedly working or giving information to Ambazonians so that they were kept at the Boya concentrated dead camp and they will disappear, they disappear. Nobody knows their whereabouts. Ayo Bernard Abbo is the one in charge of teaching administrators. He's the one in charge, is the director of that school, which gives colonial information on how to maltreat the people of Southern Cameroon. These people will answer. There will be a day, there will be a time for reckoning. I said he was a prison superintendent in Boya. But my I, that, that was a little error, and I'm coming to make the correction. Everyone makes you know the kind of mistake, maybe want to read or things like that. Ayo Bernard Apo was the superintendent at the Bamenda concentrated dead camp. He was there as a superintendent at his time when before being made the director of this school in in Boya. My fellow Ambazonians, ladies and gentlemen. Take note of this name, Ayo Bernard Akbo. He is one of those people who are intensifying the occupation. He's one of those enablers. Enablers. These are enablers. Yes. He's a director of ENA. He is part and parcel of this particular gang. Yes. Ayo Bernard Akbo. When while in Bamenda, he actually did his best to ensure that our people in that area, in that constant dead camp, they suffer and he has been transferred to the school which teaches those administrators, those so-called prison administrators who are out there to extort and, you know, take all the bit of energy that our people have behind bars. There will be a day for reckoning. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share this video as far as you can. Justice we seek, justice we shall get. Ayo Bernard Akbo, you are the director of ENAP. And you know exactly you are at the in, at the corridor of power. You are part of the hierarchy. Those who give orders, those who carry out very very bad instructions from Yaounde to continue to make our people to suffer. Yes, come rain, come shine. You will pay one day for these sins that you have committed. There is another one called Mr. Ndinge, Mr. Ndinge at the at the Boya concentrated death camp. He is one of those people who are intensifying this particular issue. And five of Ambazonians, seven Cameroonians, they were smuggled out, they were deceived that they have been released. They took their belongings, left their prison cells, until today, nobody knows their whereabouts. Yes, people like Wazizi, they disappeared. Nobody knows their whereabouts. These people, they know exactly where 
they have gone to. We are we, we keep on saying this. If there is no enemy within, there will never be the enemy without cannot penetrate. La Republic knows very well the game they are playing. They use people like Ayo Ben and Akbo to intensify the suffering on our people. But there shall be a day for recording. Let this video go as far as possible. And thank you for watching. Ooh.